Welcome back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen, give you your favorite recipe. We take it to the next level, Jamaican Valley season. Anyway, what we're going to do today, we want to make you a nice, lovely Jamaican brown stew chicken. All right, and I'm gonna show you from start to finish, you're gonna love this one. We're gonna use the Jamaican Valley season to marinate the chicken, bring in a lovely flavor, taste, everything. You're gonna love this one. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. Um, my name is Chef Ricard, as I know it before, and you know I me, mean? we got a lot more recipe, a lot more ideas, and a lot more things that are coming up for the fans. I love you all, and stay tuned. Nice and lovely, guys. So basically, as I say, we're gonna show you how to marinate the Jamaican brown stew chicken. I'm gonna be using the Jamaican Valley season. This is a recipe is going to be a bomb recipe. All right, guys. So first thing we're going to do, I'm gonna be using some natural ingredients. That's the first thing I'm gonna be using, and the uh, Jamaican brown stew chicken today. So first thing, let's go into the natural season. We're going to add the real Jamaican authentic season. So I got three cup of garlic, which I'm going to be using. Simple cutting up very finely. You don't need to stress yourself about one of garlic because you know what? The Jamaican Valley have a lot of season. We got some fresh thyme. Nice one. Also, spring onion too. Two cups of spring onion, which we're going to be using. Also, we got some pimenta. I'm going to put a little bit of pinch of pimenta on it. We got two tomato, medium sized tomato. A wicked recipe, this guy. The guy's going to love this one, and we're going to do this one. And right now, it's me and my daughter are here, and we're going to cook some food today because Chef Ricard is in the kitchen. And then right here, half of a white onion. Nice one. I'm going to use some peppers now. So this is some yellow pepper. And I'm going to be using half of the yellow pepper. Red pepper. You know, when Chef Ricardo cook, you know, the thing set already. We have to use all of these for giving it a lovely flavor. And then we have some green pepper. You don't know what I believe the bowl is a little bit too small and I might have to get a bigger bowl. Alright, carrot is a must. Put some carrot in it. Two medium sized carrot. I might just use up the rest of half a white onion. Alright. Nice one. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna be switching over my bowl because the bowl is a little bit too small. So I'm gonna get a bigger bowl, all right? So what I'm going to do is transfer everything into the bigger bowl, which is going to be better, all right? So first thing, I know the bigger bowl is gonna work much better. So look at this now. Get the chicken with all of those nice lovely season and just simple transfer it over just like this. All of those natural seasoning and everything. We're gonna put on the Jamaican Valley season pan. Now you know what's gonna happen. Everything gonna just kick in, lovely and nice. So what we're going to do now? Let's sanitize this. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna to touch to the, the real main part of the everything of when you're gonna cook at home. Let's put a little bit of crack pepper. Nice one. Um, anything else? I believe that that's it so far. Now we're gonna put on some all-purpose season. Let's marinate him up now. All-purpose season. One tablespoon. And then this is some chicken season. We're gonna put on a large tablespoon. Man, sell off. Mm -hmm. that, that gonna be really nice. Really, really nice. So we got down the chicken season. We're gonna put on some chicken spice. One large tablespoon of the chicken spice. 
The only reason why me use one large tablespoon because this season doesn't got a lot of salt in it. This is just really a really amazing recipe with this chicken season I'm using on the hard purpose. So we're gonna put on roughly half tablespoon of the jerk season. Nice one. So all I eat the it right there, sir. Then what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna, you can use olive oil or vegetable oil. I'm gonna put on roughly about two tablespoons of the, the olive oil or vegetable oil. Whatever oil you like to use. It's up to you. Wicked recipe this guys. I know you guys are gonna love this one. This is exactly what me at all about. You saw that look nice? You saw that look nice? This is the Jamaican Valley season guys. Working out to where you want to be with it. As I say, please visit their website and get your season for Christmas. So what I'm gonna do, I put on my gloves, I'm gonna just simply rub up the chicken like this. If you notice, I stop use all purpose season. No, not all purpose, paprika season guys, sorry. I don't use paprika no more. All right. Especially when I make all them, I mean I use the Jamaican Valley season, I don't need all purpose season. Yeah. So just take a good look here, sir. Oh, this look nice. I remember, you know, when I'm done with it, you know. What am I going to do here now? I eat this. You don't need to put on this whole heap of... Nothing else, guys. What happened? The Jamaican Valley season does come in and fit in the right and proper way how you want it to be. All right? I eat this. Look at this. I eat this. Me don't need nothing more else for it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to link this for about two and a half hours for it to get soaked. Then I'm going to show you how to cook it. All right, and you want to cook it the next day, it's up to you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. So that's the way I marinate it. All you need to do is to wrap it, put it in your fridge, and leave it for two hours for it to soak. Nice and lovely. So guys, basically I have a medium sized pot on the stove. Look at this. Nice pot to make a nice lovely brown stew chicken in there. Alright. The chicken which I'm using, I'm using the Thai bit of the chicken. I'm oh, sorry, I should tell you that earlier. But I'm using the Thai bit. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a little bit of oil inside of a frying pan like this. Roughly about two tablespoons of either vegetable oil or olive oil. You know you guys like the oil where you guys want to use. It's up to you. Alright. Then... Next thing what I'm going to do is I know the pot is a little bit hot at the moment. I have about three to four minutes now. So what I need to do is take my I'm gonna use my tongue and I'm gonna simply put in a chicken like this. I'm not gonna be like you know, I want to get a nice color. Like this. And like this. All right. So it's not a lot of chicken anyway. Still, it's only what is that? Two, four, six pieces. That's fine. That's not too bad. All right. So we want to get a nice, lovely brown color. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add all of the veg and add some liquid, more seasoning if we need it. Get a nice, lovely color from it. Any nice one. Mm-hmm. And things looking good so far. Mm. 
nice and lovely. So basically what I'm going to do is turn over the chicken like this. And like this. And like this. So you want to get that nice lovely brown colour. Looking nice and lovely. Nice guys, nice, nice. Look at that. So that look nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. If you want to cook a little bit more. Nice and lovely. So basically, I'm going to take them out and put them in my bowl. Yeah, it's looking good, man. And then we're going to scrape out the vegetable. Yeah, let's scrape out the vegetable. I'm gonna fry up the vegetable and now to make a nice, lovely sauce for the chicken. Just look at that, look at that, look at that. Nice and lovely. So basically, as you can see, this is cooking so far. Um, you got the pepper, carrot, onion, and all these things in it. So I'm gonna fry them off. What am I gonna do? Put a little bit of dry thyme, just a little pinch of dry thyme, and I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup. Give it a stir. Gonna bring in a lovely flavor to all that. All right now, in a nice color. We're gonna put roughly about a tablespoon of browning. I just boiled my kettle. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna add some boiling water. Roughly about two table cups of two table two cups of water that's looking good what I'm gonna do is put in my chicken in it like this you see that that's looking lovely and nice A lot of people doesn't know how to make Jamaican brown stew chicken. So this is an easier way for the fans them. We will may show them right now. What I'm going to do is just simply taste the liquid. So nice it is. To be honest, that take a little bit more of the Jamaican flavor seasoning. Right? Seriously, big man thing. All right. Look a bit of the chicken spice just to bring in a color, a flavor to it. Now, some of the, the hard purple season and the Jamaican flavor season I'm using. Nice. Look at that. So that look good. Boy, oh boy, I don't know what Chef Ricardo is going with. I don't know what Chef Ricardo is going with. You know? don't have to tell me, you know. But look at this. I don't ever see nothing look like. Oh my God, in heaven. Tell me. Hmm? Look at this. Cover it. Turn on your stove a little bit lower. To about three or four gas mark. 
and make it stand the simmer down for about one nice good 10 minutes nice and lovely guys i just finished turning off it my stove but it's finished but what i want to say to you i'm going to share it out i make you guys see exactly what i'm talking about but it's finished cooked now i just make it cook for about 20 minutes and that's the way it look lovely and nice and tasteable so let's share it out and see exactly how it look once the meat is cooked you're good to go all right nice one so guys as i said i did finish cook it off and i'll share it out now and this is the way of the brown stew chicken look nice and lovely so please subscribe to the youtube channel thank you so much with somebody cook some rice and some salad at the side you know it's an amazing recipe and i know your fans will love this one don't forget to tell a friend and a friend tell a friend subscribe is very important like and share is also very important i love you all and thank you so much for watching chef ricardo show stay tuned